Question 20. Adam says 0.25 is smaller than 2 fifths. Explain why he's correct. Well, what we need to do here is think about equivalents. And equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. I'm just going to write that down. So fractions, decimals and percentages. So obviously some of these are very easy and we should know them already. So, for example, a half and 50% and 0.5 are the same. But we've got 0.25 and 2 fifths here. So let's see what we can actually figure out. So 0.25 as a percentage is very, very simple. It would be 20. It would be 25%. So if we can figure out what percentage 2 fifths is, then we're well on our way. So two fifths, the easiest thing to do is to think about a chocolate bar split into fifths. So we've got a chocolate bar with five sections there, all supposed to be the same size. Well, if the whole chocolate bar is 100% and you split 100 into five equal bits, you get 20% in each bit because five twenties make 100. So... Each fifth is 20%. But obviously this says two fifths. So two fifths is going to be two out of these five bits. So if one fifth, if one fifth is 20%, then two fifths must be 40%. And as you can see, it's these two put together. So 20 and 20 makes 40%. Therefore, two-fifths is 40%. And once we've explained that and written on the diagram, you've then just got to write your explanation. So, you could say 0.25 is 25%, and you could say that one-fifth is 20%, so two-fifths is 40%, Therefore, 25% is smaller than 40%. So, 0.25 smaller than 2 fifths.